Hello, it's Lady Boulay, and I hope your day is going beautifully. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And we really have to keep this in mind as things heat up down there on the southern border. Because what we're seeing is a standoff between the governor of Texas, the president of the United States, and the Supreme Court of the United States. It's very interesting, but it's a good time for us to see just how our laws in America work. So in the United States, we have three branches of government. We have the executive branch, that is the president. We have the legislative branch, that's the House of Representatives and the House of Senate. And we have the judicial branch, which is the Supreme Court. That is called a check and balance system so that neither branch gets to be too powerful. Now, when something goes to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court rules on something, we think, okay, that's it. That's it. Well, not so fast. The governor of Texas has put those razor wire fences around the border. And the president told the Border Patrol that they could cut through those fences, I guess, so people could come across. Well, the governor of Texas says he's putting them up there. And he didn't, he didn't say he didn't care what the Supreme Court said, but he says that he has a right to defend the state of Texas because they're being invaded. And everybody sort of gets what, this, what, the, what the governor is saying because he is being invaded. So Because when somebody is coming across your border and you're telling them not to come and they come anyway, that's a type of invasion to your state and your country. So he's putting those wire fences up. And the Supreme Court said take them down, and he's not taking them down. So everybody thinks, well, he doesn't have to do what the Supreme Court said. Well, maybe not. Now I'm not a constitution, I'm not a constitutional scholar. So somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But according to the Constitution, I think a Supreme Court decision can be overridden by three-fourths of the state legislatures. Uh, so three-fourths or 75% of 50 is 37.5. So there's no such thing as a half a state. So if 38 states agree on overriding a Supreme Court decision, they can do it. Well, well, 25 states have agreed with the governor of Texas. They have sent letters of support to the governor of Texas, and these are Republican governors. If so, if those state legislatures agree that they are going to override that decision that the Supreme Court made, then they can override that decision and they can put barbed wire fences up around their borders to keep invaders out. Now, I think I'm right about this. This is from being a sixth grade government teacher for many years. So two thirds of the Congress and three fourths of the states can amend or ratify or repeal. And I believe that this is the way that this is a one of the check and balances. But anyway, we're going to see because I think that governor is serious about protecting the borders of Texas. And so he has, back to what I was saying, he has, there are already 26 states that agree with him. So he only needs 12 more because Texas and then 25 states uh, support Texas. So he only needs 12 more. Now, Vermont has a Republican governor and they haven't sent a letter of support, but it would just be a matter of time. And some of these Democratic states, some of these states with Democratic governors, if this situation continues to reach the boiling point 
that it seems to be moving toward, I believe that, that he'll be able to get those other 12 states. And they can override that Supreme Court decision. But we're going to see. We're going to see. And I'm going to go back and check again to, to see if I'm right about this. But I think I'm right. I know three-fourths of the states uh, can amend the Constitution or repeal the constitutional amendment. And that's the same like with this whole abortion. These women running around here with this abortion. They can overturn that Supreme Court decision with, with three-fourths of the states. But they're not going to get it because 38 states, you know, you're going to need 38 states. And somewhere you're going to have to have some Republican states in there. And I don't think they would do it. But in this case, with the American people being so upset about what's going on down there at the border, at the southern border, I think it can happen. But we'll wait and see. But anyway, I just thought I would bring that to you. So you do your research and see if I'm right and let me know. Okay, thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and as always, have a great day.